Okay, so I had um, someone ask me the question. They're basically abiding in the infinite self uh, effortlessly. And there's an effortlessness of being of service to others. But there's um, a sense of it being very comfortable. And there's a, a sense of something of potentially needing to surrender this. And that's um, that sense of moving on, even when things are comfortable, is is quite right. And that means that it's um, it's a, it's a higher evolved prompt to go to the next level. Uh, so what happens uh, in the early stages of spiritual development uh, growth? Um, it's it's really really nice to let go of fear of anger of grievance. There's a real willingness to let go of these things and to surrender them. Who you who want? I mean, it's lovely to surrender fear and never to be in fear again. It's lovely to surrender uh, anger and never to have anger or grievance again. But a, a different type of surrender occurs for more advanced spiritual seekers, and that's the. Um, it's nice to send uh, surrender the negative energies, but when we come to comfortable places um, in the more evolved states, um, a, a grace comes uh, to many seekers at a certain stage, like don't get, you know, to surrender even those things which seem wonderful um, and, to, and to go to the next level. So uh, Hawkins described something really, really wonderful and really illustrated this. So the lessons in more advanced spiritual seekers is that uh, he was in ecstasy so that's one of the most, um, you could say, the most addictive and most wonderful state to be in. Constant energy, constant bliss, bliss even beyond bliss, really ecstasy, uh, nonstop energy, you know, really like the elixir of, of absolute being, you know, right at the near the top end. And uh, and then it was like, and there is a there is a thing of like ne never wanting to surrender, even the ecstasy. And the ecstasy was the last, is basically the last thing. It's like, would you even be willing to surrender ecstasy for God? And it's necessary. It's necessary to surrender even that. And then the doorways to enlightenment come on. So the the duality, the, the subtle dualities that need to be surrendered are even surrendering, you know, uh, states of comfortableness, states of bliss and states of ecstasy and not to sort of get trapped in them but when the prompt comes it's now time to surrender even that um to go to what's even beyond what's even beyond being comfortable and abiding effortlessly in the in that infinite state is there and to surrender that to see what's beyond that and even if bliss comes to surrender even bliss and if ecstasy comes to surrender even ecstasy uh, and so those do become the things. And so for God, um, it is, yes, I'm willing to surrender this comfortableness to go to the next, to see what's beyond that. And so the lessons become more subtle in a spiritual evolution, whereas in the early days, it's surrendering horrible, horrible feelings. In the later stages, it's even surrendering the wonderful to go even deeper into the, into the states now, as you get into infinite states, there's still levels of infiniteness. You know, there, there could be like uh, infinite comfortableness. Then there can be infinite bliss. You're not really like in separation. It's not like you're lo localized, but there are different levels like in, in, infinite oneness and comfortableness and infinite oneness and peace and infinite... Um, there's the infinite stillness and the nothingness. Then there's the infinite bliss. Uh, there's the uh, uh, infinite ecstasy. And then there's enlightenment. So yes. And what comes is um, if you do kinesiologic um, research on people, like some teachers uh, or some advanced will go to a certain level and they will not evolve beyond that level. Um, so through calibration research, like Ramana Maharishi, uh, when he had the, the observe, observation of, of the death, 
it was actually the observation of the death of the ego, which is the which is required for enlightenment. He actually went into a calibration level. Uh, he went into a state of enlightenment um, by ca uh, Hawkins calibration scale of 700. Uh, he didn't move on from there, but there are more advanced states. So um, Jesus Christ, Buddha and Krishna went all the way up to the final levels that you can reside in the human body in these levels. So they're, they're even more refined states. So yes, that's correct. Uh, usually what the what the thing is, if you get to like... Uh, a state of um, infinite, non-localized, non non-separated um, non comfortableness, and there's an effortless, isn't that? At a certain point comes a prompting: Are you willing to surrender that to see if there's something beyond that? And then, the, you know, of course, uh, for God, it is to surrender any anything, even the even to see if there's to see if there is that which is beyond comfort beyond bliss, beyond ecstasy. Um, and uh, and usually, um, so uh, the lessons at more advanced levels are not wanting to surrender something that seems to be like, oh, I could stay in this forever. I don't need to surrender this and move on and see if there's something even more. So it's a different type of thing. So yes, um, usually once you reside in a state for a period of time, um, there's uh, there can be a prompting now it's time to move on and surrender this to see what's beyond that as well so it's uh, uh that then how do you do that well for me um uh, the thing is like um for me it's like it, it doesn't make sense if you use words but wherever i am to surrender that to see if there's anything deeper and even if I'm in the most wonderful place, to be willing to surrender that to see if there's anything deeper. It's just it's very much like self-inquiry. You observe and then you get to these infinite states. But then is there a witnesser of these infinite states? And if there is a witnesser of these infinite states, and then you go into a more deeper um, infinite state, and you, you go there, and there's a feeling that you, you've arrived, there's no more. But is there? Is there even a witnesser of that? So uh, you go, you just and it's and it's like uh, you just keep going until it's not possible to go any longer. Okay, so I'll stop the recording now.